Oh, yeah. Some wild grapevine really grew on this thing. And I just cut a lot of it away. I knew I'd forgotten something. I meant to bring some pruners to make this easier, but luckily I got my trusty Spiderco knife here. So it doesn't a pinch. Okay, this quick coupling works. So I disconnected it just to make it easier on me to take it off. You can see there's a check valve here that actually closes when you disconnect it. That stops the flow of hydraulic fluid. Unless you push it with your finger like I just did. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so now I gotta make sure I know which side's gonna be my supply and my return. So normally if I wasn't taking this coupling off completely, it would be easy to figure out because obviously this female end is gonna go on to this male end right here. So in order for me to make that happen here, I've got to, hold on, let me think about this for a second. Durr. Okay, all right, so this pipe diameter is clearly bigger than this pipe diameter. So the small pipe diameter must be the pressure side. The larger pipe diameter must be your return. And then if you come over here, these look about the same, but over here, this is reduced down. So this must be your pressure side, and that must be your return. So that means this line here, when I unscrew this line from here, I'm going to have a big female thread that needs to go to the suction line on this. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. So if I take this fitting off of here, I'll have that female thread right there. Roger that. And then that'll leave... me with this piece to go back on this one, which will give me a female thread to go on to here. Yeah, okay. Okay, I've got this one loosened. It's starting to drip, so I don't want to do that one just yet because I'm going to have a ton of flow and nothing to cap it with. So, in preparation for getting that one off, I'm going to loosen that one. But I'm thinking because this pipe's high up on the backhoe attachment, I think I might be able to take... No, I don't want to take that fitting off. That's right, because I'm going to take that off and put it on here. Right? Yeah, I'm going to take that off and put it on here to go to the... Okay, never mind. Hmm, the hornets have moved back in here somewhere. Seem very active around here. Anyways, uh, I'm going to have to work fast. I've got that till it's hand tight. I'm going to whip that off. I've got this till it's about hand tight. I'm going to whip that off. I'm going to lose a ton of fluid, make a real mess, and uh, work as quick as I can. So that's going to go on the floor on the ground for momentarily while I work like hell to get that one down here. This one seems like it's leaking more. Can't tell the level of the hydraulic reservoir. Yeah, that's gonna be a leaker like a son of a gun too. Oh well. Alright, that wasn't bad at all. Uh, one good gloop and it's pretty much stopped. So now this is gonna go down Phew, this is going to go down to that fitting when I take that fitting off. That fitting is going to come back up here to this. So, here we go. Okay, success. Got that one on. Now, got to find the other fitting and put it on there and then just use the quick coupling. Oh, man. Wish I had some rags. Should have brought some rags out here. Duh. Well, anyways... Got this one hooked up, got the quick coupling on there, and much to my dismay, uh, I'm just inches short from getting this thing to couple on there. Unless I can rotate this elbow around to orient it so it's facing down, that might work. Otherwise, the only way I'm going to get that coupling on is if I raise it, and unfortunately, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the return. The larger diameter is the return, so that means that I can't use the 
hydraulics to lift it up high enough. Damn. Well, I can't tighten that anymore because it was already really tight. So the only way to get it to face down is to loosen it, which is to spin it the other way. Problem is when I go to spin it the other way, it's hitting the hose below it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna have to do is take this coupling off that I just screwed on there and then I'll switch it over to this side, then screw the coupling back on. And then I should be able to hook this puppy up. All right, so now I got just enough clearance, I think, to get this coupling on and I've got now length of hose. Whew. It's tough getting that coupler back on because the hose is straight. It's a straight fitting. It comes out and it's hitting here. So I had to twist it to the perfect location to get that to engage. I finally did. But I definitely don't want it like that. For later, I'm going to definitely want to uh, flip that back up to the other orientation. Plus this might leak a little bit now because I had to loosen it. Uh, almost a full turn. About three quarters of a turn to get it in that position. All right. We're hooked up. Next bit of business, see if it'll restart. Let's hope it does. All right, let's see if we have any luck starting this baby. Find them and find them. Hey. Ah. See if that's enough. Ow. Yes. I think I needed to be lined up better than this. Uh oh. Oh man, I was doing pretty well. I was uh, going forward just enough, just as far as I could with these hoses still attached and backwards and weaving it back and forth. And I was just about to bring it back into position and I stalled it. Had the RPMs a little too low, maybe you read that or decide to quit like it's been doing. Well, we'll know in a minute, because if it doesn't restart, then I know I'm back to that same old baloney where it's dying when it's hot. Well, luckily it looks like I was wrong about that. All right. Almost there. Ah, crap. Now I know why that hose wasn't on. No, actually, that shouldn't make a difference. What the hell's going on here? Ah, shit. This hose must have to go... Over this? Oh, come on. You know, both hoses print. Ah. Well, I got in a, got the hoses in a better position. My problem is I'm just not lined up well enough. I should have lined up better. The problem is with the thing on the ground, it was kind of hard to see. And now that I get it up in the air, I'm on a good six inches over this way. 
not like I can walk this thing over there. Ah! And I'm going to have to disconnect the hydraulic lines again, reposition the tractor, and then uh, rehook them up. I sure hope I'm right about this being the pressure side because I have to disconnect this hose and leave it disconnected, uncapped. So hopefully it's the return line. I don't know. I don't know about this. Well, disconnect it and see what happens. Well, in reality, though, if I'm unscrewing it here, oh yeah, yeah, because it's it's engaged in there, so that's gonna that's gonna pump like a son of a gun if it's the pressure side. There. Ooh, I wish I had a pipe plug I could put in here. Well, theoretically, if that's a suction line, I should be able to start this and no fluid will come out of there. Theoretically. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, that just flopped down there, but Considering I had it kind of facing up towards the Hey, hey, stop that. That's not nice. Pee in the yard. Just in case. Just in case I get a shower. Uh-oh. I just tried cranking it. It's got that sound like it's gonna not start. <laughs> oh, help me. That old man laughing sound. <laughs> uh, laughing at me is what it's doing. <laughs> Alright, I know what that means. I know what that means. The old man is telling me I've reached my time limit. Ha 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 on you. You want Gully out here and you're not gonna get this thing on today. Ha ha ha.